Here's how to make the most realistic class texture in Blender. Now before you click out, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, all I have to do is chuck in a class BSDF and call it a day. Well, yes and no. While the glass BSDF will give you a glass texture, it's not the most true to life and realistic texture. So hear me out. Here's how you can create the most realistic glass texture in Blender. Okay, I've opened up this Blender scene here, and it's just a simple counter table top. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and replace the principal BSDF with a glass BSDF and change the index of refraction value to 1.52. Now, once we've done that, you can see that once we've added the glass texture, there's still something off with it. And that is because Blender is treating this object like a solid object and isn't letting light pass through like it would with a proper glass texture. So that means that the shadows aren't passing through and it looks unrealistic. Well, to combat this, we can easily add a transparent BSDF in the place of the glass BSDF. And as you can see, it's letting the shadows pass through now, but it's also making it look like there's nothing there. Well, here's how you can fix that. To do that, we're gonna mix both of these shaders together using a mix shader node. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to find a perfect value in between these two nodes. And now with this texture, we want the areas that are touching a surface, such as the table stand, for example, to act like real glass and in areas where it isn't touching any surfaces to let light pass through and the shadows to pass through. We can simply do that using a light path note and using the shadow ray part as the factor for both of these notes. Okay, we're almost done now. The last part is, well, an optional part. As you can see in some cases, glass usually takes a green tint. And I don't know why that is, but we can simply do that by changing the color of the glass BSDF and the transparent BSDF to add a ever so slightly tint of greenness. And well, that was it for this tutorial. We've learned how to take a normal glass BSDF and we'll make it look as realistic and true to life as possible. Now click here to watch my latest video and click here to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.